Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the zinc carbon battery experiment from Mel Chemistry, we will assemble a battery on our own, which will make an LED glow. Pay close attention to the new scientific cards in this set. They will make you know more about the science behind the experiment. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Do not forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the zinc carbon battery experiment, you will need a plastic vial, manganese dioxide, graphite, ammonium chloride solution, zinc powder, two small plastic cups, two plastic tubes, two cotton wool filters, two screws, a measuring spoon, a plastic rod, a small plastic cup, a colored cap, a wooden disc, graphite leads, crocodile clip, wires, a battery holder, and LED. Pour the entire bottle of manganese dioxide into the plastic vial, slightly tapping the sides of the bottle. Then add the entire bottle of graphite. Dip the end of the plastic tube into the prepared mixture. Repeat for the second plastic tube. Then seal both tubes with the small plastic caps. Close the vial and shake it for 10 seconds. Insert the graphite leads using the sharp ends into the openings of the caps. Put both tubes aside. Take the separately packed colored cap and put it into the small plastic cup. Notice that this cap has no membrane. Place one of the prepared tubes into the case. This is the start of your first battery. Now, add 10 drops of ammonium chloride to the plastic tube. Then add two small measuring spoons of the mixture you prepared before. Close the vial and save the rest of the mixture to make the second battery and to repeat the experiment. Carefully insert the cotton filter into the battery case and gently press it all the way down using the plastic rod. Pour one small measuring spoon of zinc powder and three drops of ammonium chloride solution into the battery case. Now insert the screw and push down gently until it is tight. Turn the plastic tube upside down and put a wooden disc onto the graphite lead. Carefully press the lead into the battery until it's level with the wooden disc. Assemble one more battery using the second tube. Then put both batteries into the battery holder. Just as with regular batteries, it is necessary to note the polarity. The screws in both batteries should be touching the springs in the holder. Using the crocodile clip wires, connect the red wire to the long leg of the LED and the black wire to the short one. This will close the electric system and the electrons will begin moving from the zinc section through the LED to the manganese section. Zinc will be oxidizing, manganese oxide will be reducing and the LED will glow. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Chemistry website.